So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first in a series of four videos um, demonstrating the um, Boilex One stove. What you see in front of you in the middle with the red base is our pre production prototype of a forced air stove inside of which is a crucible, an area where we burn fuels. And the crucible is made from fire brick uh, because of the high levels of heat, through which there are a number of holes, which allows a fan, which lives in the base of this unit, to blow forced air through the stove. The control of the fan is via this simple rotary switch here. The moment it's off, it's now on minimum and can be progressively chased and increased to maximum. Below this, there is a charging port, and this stove comes with two types of charger. There is a standard mains charger. You plug this into the mains plug it into the base of the stove. Alternatively, you can use a solar charger. And here is one that we supply for use with this stove. Again, plugs into the same port as the mains charger. We also optionally add with this stove um, the means to light an environment. And here we have a LED light with about five meters of cable. And this plugs into the power outlet socket just here to the left. Okay, let's get on with this. Now for this first demonstration, we are going to use this stove as you see it. In other words, in as designed mode. We will use small pieces of biomass, which you see in these. These are small branches, twigs that have been cut to size so that they can be easily used for this demonstration. Each of these pots contains 250 grams and that should be enough to bring this pot which will contain five litres of water starting at 20 degrees up to the boil and we will time how long it takes in this standard format for twigs and branches to bring five litres of water to the boil. And that, we use that timer. To start the stove, we will use um, small pieces of fire lighter. This is in order to um, get the wood burning as quickly as possible. So, let's begin this. What we will do is firstly put a few pieces of wood twigs, whatever biomass is available, in the base of the stove to form a shallow bed. We will then use small pieces of fire lighter in order to get this going as quickly as possible, which we now light. And we allow the lighter, the fire lighter, just to develop flame. Now, whilst that's doing that, we will fill the pot with five litres of water. Have a lid and thermometer so that we can monitor the temperature as time goes along. This is now lit. We turn on the fan onto low. We now add a few more pieces of wood to get this going, and that's enough. We now turn this up to maximum, and we place the pot on top of the fuel to start the clock. And just to prove we are starting at around 20 degrees. 
there we are, we adjust the shade under 20 degrees. We now allow that to pick up and establish. And whilst that does that, again we will demonstrate the use of a device. This is a simple tray that slots under the frame into the side of the stove and that's how we add subsequent pieces of wood. We place them on the tray and simply push them in with a stick or other device. So, we're started. We will now come back to this at regular intervals at approximately five minute intervals to see how this is getting along. Okay, so we're just rolling over ten, uh, seven minutes into this burn. You will notice that the crucible is now burning quite nicely. It's around this point that we slowly start adding additional pieces of fuel, one piece at a time, to maintain a nice strong burn. And all we do is just throw it down the chute and it goes. Approaching 10 minutes in now, and you'll notice we've got a nice strong burn established. And the water temperature is hitting just about 36 degrees at this time. And from this point onwards, about every two minutes or so, we will add pieces of wood just to sustain the burn. They don't slide in, we just poke them in. So we're coming up to 15 minutes now, and we have hit 51, 52 degrees. You should notice that we are now into our second 250 grams of fuel, having used the first one up. Per the usual routines, every minute and a half to two minutes we add another piece of fuel to keep the burn relatively even. So we're about to roll over 20 minutes and we have reached 74 and a half degrees. notice the pan still quite clean, very little in the way of sooty deposits, and time to add another piece of fuel. Okay, we are approaching 25 minutes now, and I think we have gauged the fuel quantity just about right. We only have one piece of fuel left, and we are at 99 degrees, so we have hit rolling boil, there are bubbles rising from the base to the top, that happens at 98 degrees, and we are hitting true boil, that's 100 degrees, in So 100 degrees in 25 and a half minutes. And we have used almost exactly 500 grams of fuel, all bar one piece, which is probably 10 to 15 grams left. So almost 500 grams of fuel in this format to bring five liters of water to the boil. Okay, we will now move on to test two. The second test in this series of four is essentially a repeat of the first test, but for one exception. In this test we are going to be using this simple device, which we are calling our flame concentration or flame focusing collar. That simply slides in over the top of the crucible area and enables us to focus the flames down more into the center of the pan which gives us a quicker time to boil. 
So we will repeat what we did last time, which is we have 500 grams of fuel again here. We will put a small layer, a thin layer in the bottom. We will then add a piece of white fire lighter, a very small piece. We will then light it. And as the flame of the fire lighter establishes, we'll place the collar into position. We will put the tray that we used before into position. And now that the flame of the fire lighter is going, we will add more pieces of fuel over the top of the fire lighter. And we will turn on the fan. to ensure that the fuel starts to light. Not much to see at the moment, but if we go in, you will see that it is establishing an ignition. We are alight. So at this point, we will place the pan on top of the stove. We will start the clock. Let's just pan back to show that we are starting at approximately 20 degrees. And as before, we will come back at approximately five minute intervals to see how this burn progresses. So up to maximum, let's now come back at five minutes and see how the temperature is progressing. So we're approaching five minutes in with our focusing collar in position, we are getting a very concentrated flame centrally under the pan, and we are at 41 and a half degrees. So at 10 minutes in, we are now approaching 67, 68 degrees. So as before, now we're at around 13 minutes, I'm going to add the last of the first 250 grams of fuel. So the addition rate is about the same as for the first test. And at 13 and a quarter minutes we are at 82 degrees. So we just rolled over 15 minutes, we are at 90 degrees, 15 minutes, so today on this test at coming up to 17 minutes, We are at 99, so we are boiling at 7 minutes and 6 seconds, and I hope you will notice that we still have quite a bit of fuel left having reached boil. I estimate that we've used 300 to 350 grams of wood biomass to achieve boil using this, uh, what we're calling for the moment, flame focusing column. 